I'm David Adams. I'm retired from The Ohio State University at Lima, where I taught sociology for almost 30 years. Um, Stella and I met in college in 1958. We were in the library, sitting at library tables, taking the math placement test. And about 10 minutes into the test, Stella leaned across and she said, what did you get for number 10? And I covered my paper and I thought to myself, we'll have none of that. That was our first conversation. Uh, we were married in 1963, September 1st. We were married for 45 years. Uh, so it seems to me we, we had 50 years together, which is a, a, a long time. And that was a great blessing. Uh, Stell died in May, late May, uh, 2008. So it's nine years next year. We benefited, Stell and me, from St. Rita's Hospice the last week and a few days of her life. And I will always be truly grateful for that. It's a great gift. Uh, what seems to me a very insightful and, and true uh, metaphor, I guess it would be, that I got from a, a film called The Rabbit Hole. The mother says, in answer to a question from her daughter, what is it like uh, to have lost your son, my brother, uh, 20 years ago? or something like that, a long time. And the mother says after a moment, uh, grief, she says, is like carrying a small stone in your pocket. Much of the time you forget that it's there, but every once in a while you put your hand in your pocket and you find it. And you say, oh, there it is. It's still there. That breaks my heart too. Uh, but during those first years, uh, people would ask me, um, how are you doing? And I knew what the subtext was. Uh, so, are you done grieving? And I wanted to tell them that you, you're never done grieving. It's always there, and thank God it is. If it were gone, I would, be, I would just be a wreck. But I know it's not, because that stone is still in my pocket. But the real point of it is not the gift, to St. Rita's, it's, well, the gift that hospice makes to us.